Praise the living God, praise the living God, praise the living God. Welcome again to the Master's Voice. This is Apostle Steve from Word and Love Ministries. Praise the living God. I'm happy and excited to be with you. And I would like to welcome from wherever you're watching, whether you're watching from Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, all across and all parts of the world, welcome to the master's voice and whatever i'm going to share with you today will uh, will change your life extremely it will change your mindset extremely hallelujah there's nothing like the word of god hallelujah that's the best gift of life praise the living god and uh, today's topic we're gonna speak we're gonna talk about the power of the spoken word and what the spoken word can do to your life hallelujah and uh, before we start i just want to pray for you i just want to pray for you father lord in the name of jesus i pray for everybody who's watching right now i pray that their hearts are open and let them receive the word. And as soon as they receive the word, that word will cause an impact in their lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And we're going to, uh, as I said, we are going to be talking about the power of the spoken word. And what the spoken word can do to your life. Hallelujah. And I want to take you to the book of of James um, uh, the book of James James chapter 3 okay let's James uh, uh, chapter 3 let's read from verse 3 and I'll read to you from the King James version and it says behold we put bits in the horses' mouths that they may obey us. And we turn about their whole body. Behold, also the ships, which though they be so great and are driven of fierce winds, yet are they turned about with a very small hem. Whithsoever the governor listeth. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasted great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. Verse 6. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, that it defileth the whole body, and setteth on fire the cause of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. For every kind of beasts and birds and of serpents and of things in the sea is tamed and hath tamed of mankind. Hallelujah. We are going to be talking about the power of the spoken word. So, first thing I want to talk about the tongue. The book of James is talking about how the tongue is so powerful. And it describes, from verse 3, it describes the hem of a ship. You know, the hem of a ship, as small as it is, it controls the ship. It takes the ship rather right or left. It gives direction to the ship. And brothers and sisters, that is how your tongue is. Your tongue gives a direction. To your life. Everything that has happened in your life today happened because you spoke it. It started in your heart. Then you spoke it with your mouth. 
That's why the, the, that's why James is saying your tongue boasts many things. So we mu- you must be careful of the things that you say because, as I told you last week, the book of uh, Psalms says we are gods. We have His nature. God has put his life inside us. That's why when we say things, things come to pass. They might take time. So the number one thing, we must, you must train yourself to use your tongue correctly. It is important for you And the words that you use, let your words be words that are lifting. Don't bring words that are full of death. Don't bring words that are full of fear. Don't bring words that are full of hatred. Use your tongue correctly. Great men are created by words. Your life is what it is today because of your words. It is not a mistake of what has happened in your life today. Let me tell you, let me shock you today. It is not because of your parents. It is not because of the outside forces. But it is because of your words. Learn to control your words. Speak words of faith. In the book of Mark, chapter 11, verse 22, Jesus was showing us on uh, on how powerful our tongue is. That whatever we speak and we don't have doubt in our hearts shall come to pass. So have words of blessings. Don't have words of curses. Hallelujah. Even when we uh, even uh, even when we speak to our children, make sure you give them blessings. Hallelujah. Even if you look at Genesis chapter 1, from verse 1 to 3, when the earth was formless, when the earth was dark, what did God do? God spoke. He spoke to the uh, He spoke to the earth when it was formless, when it was dark. So what did he say? Let there be light. And the same life that he has, we also have. You know, in the world, you find, in the world you find one thing, that the children of this world, even Jesus said, are wiser than the children of the kingdom. Because they are taking our secrets from the Bible and they are meditating upon them, even if they are not born again. And they are using them for their advantage. May you, may you rise as a child of God. May you rise as a child of God. Praise the living God. May you use your words correctly. Because your words have power. Out of their belly shall flow river, uh, rivers of living water. Everything comes from the deep. And for you to speak the right words, you have to meditate on his word. When you have meditated on something for a long time, it becomes 
it becomes. Do you know one thing? Even when you are worried, you are meditating. You're meditating on your worries. And your worries are expanding. So when you meditate on God's word, God's word is expanding and fear is being drained by his word. Fear is being drained by his word. Brothers and sisters, there is nothing that you cannot change. You can do all things. You can do all things. Just one thing. Just yield to God and his word. And you will see Large testimonies occurring in your life. Testimonies that you didn't expect. Hallelujah. Power of the spoken word. Power of the spoken word. Uh, let us go to Proverbs chapter 15. Verse 4. Okay, the Bible says, A wholesome tongue is a tree of life. But perverseness therein is a breach in this, is a breach in the spirit. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life. So, your tongue has to be filled with great things. This is when the power of prophecy comes to pass in your life. One thing you must know, you are the prophet of of your life. You are the architect of your life. You are the CEO of your life. You are the one who chooses on what to have. God has already given you a free will to control. And God has already given you his manual which is his word. To control certain things that you want. God has already put everything. God is not creating anything anymore. Like he was doing in the book of Genesis. As the Bible says, his work is finished. He's sitting in his throne waiting for you. To change things. So may you have a mindset. Cause as a man thinks, so he is in his heart. You know, what you have been saying over and over and over in your heart is what becomes is what becomes. Remember, if you read the book of Ezekiel and Isaiah, what made the what made the devil to be thrown out of heaven? He spoke in his heart that he wanted the throne of God. He spoke in his heart before he spoke with his mouth. He spoke in his heart that he wanted the throne of God. So it started in his heart. Iniquity started in his heart. Even before someone fails, it starts within him. Even, even before someone wins, it starts within him. So it starts with you first. You have to be convinced first. Are you convinced with the godly life, 
When God says you are more than a conqueror, do you believe? Are you convinced? Are you convinced? Are you saying it? Keep on. One thing, you need to keep on speaking the word to yourself. Keep on speaking the word of God to yourself. And that is when your faith increases. That is when the impossibilities becomes possibilities. Hallelujah. So from today, change the way you speak. From today, change the way you speak. And another thing, your surrounding is very important. The Bible says, bad company corrupts good manners. Be around people who motivate. Don't be around people who drown your spirit. So, it is important on what you read. It is important where you spend your time. Help me. The Bible says, if you want to be wise, you have to walk with the wise. So it is important on who you spend your time with. Hallelujah. The two to three people that you spend your time with, are, 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 they, they will be the one who will impact your life. Jesus spent his time with the disciples. But Jesus had this close man, Peter, James, and John. And he impacted their lives. So it is important. Take away the wrong people in your life. Take away the time wasters in your life. Because Tell God to bring the right people. And when you tell God to bring the right people, the wrong ones will leave. Hallelujah. Some of you, your destinies and your lives have not gone so far because of the wrong people that you're working with. Praise the Lord. Power of the spoken word. Power of the spoken word. Another thing you must know, everything around you has intelligence. If a plant, if a, if a tree could listen to Jesus and dry up, that means the walls hear you. I remember there was this famous scientist that I read about. And this famous scientist did an experiment. He brought water and every time he spoke to this water, he brought two different sets of water. And every time in one set of water, he spoke negative words, negative words, negative words. Oh, you are useless. You, you cannot go forward. Nothing will happen to you. He spoke negative words. On the other set of water, he spoke beautiful words. Now, he did it for like a week or so. Now, after he did that, the, one that, the water that he spoke negative words looked deformed. The one that he spoke positive words, it looked lovely. And he tried it with crystals. He did the same. He spoke to crystals. The, the other crystals, he spoke negative words. The other crystals, he spoke positive words. The one that he spoke positive words formed beautiful crystals. Hallelujah. So, he was teaching us, God is teaching us, that our words are very important. If his words created the universe, 
Even you, you are wild. You can change your world. You can change every circumstance around you. Wherever you are right now, whether you are sleeping on the floor, whether there's your struggles, your tongue can take you out of there. Your tongue can take you out of there. Your tongue will make you move those mountains. Hallelujah. Because the power, God has already deposited the power in you. God has already given the power in you. So if a certain thing is happening in your body and you don't like, a headache comes, speak to that headache. Let it go. Sickness comes, speak to that sickness. Let it go. And continue filling, filling your heart with his word. And failure will not come closer to you. Failure will not come closer to you. So I would like just want to pray for you right now. I want to pray for you. I want to speak words of power upon your life. Because you are, one thing you must know, you are truly special. You are important to God. What's one thing you must know? You are important to God. And you have a purpose. May God, may you realize your purpose. So I just want to speak words of power upon your life. Father, I speak upon everybody who is watching. I speak against any wrong things that are happening in their lives. Father, from today, their destiny is changing. Father, I speak against any form of stagnation that was in their lives. I speak beauty in their lives. I speak against if there were issues, even in their marriages. I speak peace upon their marriages. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, if any of them were struggling through sickness, Father Lord, I speak it. I speak to that sickness right now. I say, devil, come out of their bodies. Father Lord, if any of them is looking for promotion, I declare promotion in their workplaces. I declare promotion in their businesses. Father Lord, I know some of them are hungry for you. Some of them are hungry for you. Whoever who is thirsty and is watching, let him be filled with, with your word. Father, I thank you for the answered prayers. I thank you for what you have done today in their lives. From today, they are being lifted. From today, they are moving forward. From today, they are no longer the same. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Praise the living God. And another thing, if you know you are not saved, if you know you are not born again, whatever, that, uh, whatever teaching that was being released today is not for you, but God is giving you the opportunity of, so that you can give your heart to him. If you know that you're, you're not born again, from today, 
may you give your heart to him. Hallelujah. And I want us to pray a simple prayer. Say, oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. As your word says, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I ask Jesus to come into my heart to be the Lord of my life. From today, Father, you have given me your life and I've given you my heart. From today, I'm born again. From today, I'm a child of God. Hallelujah, you're born again. Praise the living God. Praise the living God. And I would like to invite you for service every Sunday from 2.30 to 6 at Parliament Road, first floor, Magadi Room. I would like to invite you there. You can bring, bring your family, friends, your next door neighbor. And I would like to thank you for being part of this audience today. And I'm so glad on the things that God is going to do in your life this month. And I'm quite happy for you. I'm feeling very excited. And you can send us your testimonies. There's a prayer line and there's an offering line if you want to give your offering. You can give an offering. God will truly bless you as you give your offering. And uh, if you have any situation, anything that you want to ask, there are numbers there on the screen. We are, we are free and ready to assist you anywhere you need help. God bless you so much. See you next week. This is Apostle Steve Carriaga from Word and Love Ministries. So much love. God bless you. And God take care and protect you. Hallelujah.